All right, we're back to uh, Comet Lemon. I'm up on a hill where I usually uh, have done telescope videos in the past. You're not going to see the horizon too well with my phone camera, but I have found it. I got my A7S right now, and I'm using my 12-inch aperture. I got other scopes, but this is nice and portable, believe it or not, the Dobsonian. And we're going to try out the Dwarf 3 time-lapse to see. I ain't got a lot of time because I got to go to bed and go to work, but looking to be a good night. All right, that Comet Lemon really brightened up. And this is the northwest side. I'm uh, upper Midwest, like southwestern Wisconsin. It's uh, not very late right now. It's 7, 7 19 p.m. And... I'd say it's about 20 degrees above the horizon, just behind the handle of the Big Dipper. Check that out. I'm using my Sony A7S with uh, full spectrum. I'm going to put in my A7S II in the 4K, but I want to take a couple pictures of this thing. I bet 200, there is uh, 160,000 ISO, and look at that, tail on that thing, it's pretty good, and I don't know if I'll even get out my uh, 4K Sony, took some pretty cool pictures, he said this is a uh, there's no filter on this camera, IR or infrared. And that's full video mode. It's pretty awesome. Like, real awesome. But, tell you what, just for the heck of it, we are going to put on the 4K Sony. Right, there's the 4K A7S II in 4K, same exact settings. And I like the other one better with a full spectrum. I think I'm going to have to mod a A7S II to full spectrum or get another one. That's full video mode. Weird isn't better. In fact, actually, I haven't even focused it yet. Hold on. I'm going to go back to the A7S full spectrum camera. A couple pictures there. I don't think it will come out as good as the other one. I'm learning something tonight with this comet between full spectrum and regular. I'm going to let it sit here a minute and run. That right there is picture profile 7 in video mode, 20 frames a second.
That was pretty cool. Actually, what I'm going to do is turn my shutter speed down just to show you. That's one eighth of a second, 320,000 ISO with this Sony video mode. Now I could turn my ISO down, make it clearer, but that is not cool or what. I'm going to go into Vivid. Now this is auto white balance with that full spectrum camera. I want to keep my shutter speed turned up though. In case uh, something flies by pretty good and it don't look like a big long line. But I can't run this camera on auto white balance because of the filters gone and that's the camera set at 2500 K for color temperature all right I gotta pack it up and go home pretty neat another comet another year oh there's a satellite went right by it